So how many people here are old enough to remember stupid human tricks from David Letterman? My favorite stupid human trick was the one I used to do when I'd go to parties. You would you take a glass bottle and you would slap your hand down on the bottle and it would break the bottom out of the bottle. It's become really popular on uh, stupid human tricks again at frat parties and things like that. And there are more than a hundred videos on YouTube. If you search for breaking glass bottle, breaking bottom of glass bottles, you'll get more than a hundred videos of it. And all of them have the wrong explanation about how it works. Most of the time they explain it as working as something to do with air pressure. That when your hand comes down on the top of the bottle, that you compress the air inside of the bottle in some way and that pushes the bottom out of the bottle. And I think to myself, wow, I can really compress a lot of air. <laughs> so that's not the case. Another one that's very popular is that the Pascal's principle, I don't know if you remember it, but it's that if you apply pressure to one spot on the fluid, the pressure is evenly applied to all the spots on the fluid. But it turns out that if you fill this bottle all the way to the top, so it's like even got a meniscus over the top and you hit it, you cannot break the bottom out that way. I uh, left myself with a circular shaped bruise on my hand as I tried to do that one day. The actual reason this works is, is explained well on the uh, TV show Time Warp, which has high speed video of what occurs. When you hit the top of the bottle, it pushes, the bottle gets knocked downwards by your hand. But the water gets left behind. The water can only fall at gravity, but you can push the bottle down faster than gravity. Then the water comes smacking down on the bottom of the glass and blows the glass out of the bottom. The weird thing is, is it just doesn't seem like that water would be up to the task of doing that because you've had water land on you all the time. Like you take a hose and pour it over your head, it does not break the bottom out of you. That's because there's air around you and that disperses the water, breaks it up so it can't just come slamming downwards. But here, there's nothing between the water and the bottom of the bottle. It's vacuum. And so the water can fall as one brick a pound of water can hit the bottom of this bottle and that can break the bottom out. Now I tell this explanation to my students every year and you know what, they do not believe me. Even after watching the video on Time Warp, they do not think I cannot compete with a hundred wrong explanations on YouTube. So I needed to come up with some way that would convince them that that was the case because they really believe the air pressure thing. And then one day I was drinking one of these lovely Sobeys who's paid me absolutely nothing to endorse them. So I'm going to pretend like it's not that. I don't have the label facing you. I'm violating the rules. And I saw that it has a big mouth. And I figured out that if I hit it with a mallet but didn't cover the top, then I could guarantee that I wasn't increasing the air pressure in the bottle. And if it still broke the bottom out, they would know I was right. And the other people on YouTube are the idiots that YouTube people usually are. So I'm saying that with Google right over there. I don't know. They're coming to hunt me down. So I'm going to come over around here. I have to turn off the microphone because of feedback, but we'll see it. If you're close enough to hear it, you'll be able to hear a very distinctive clicking noise, which is the sound of having being closed up. So you can be able to listen to that if you're one of like, the two people in front. Yeah, but you all wish you came on time so you could have gotten good seats now. Now I'm ready for a car fight. 